This story is from one of my subscriber, and it shows us the power of persistence. Hey, my name is P, and I am basically from India. While scrolling through YouTube, I came across your videos, which is the best thing ever. Short videos with concise content. Thank you. For the background. Well, I have been doing the Neville thing since 2019 for my career, which includes my exam and its result, as it is the toughest one PhD, and also getting admission into my dream institute for further PhD. Trust me, these words are great. If you really want something, you do not have to lift a finger while others are there to pursue you in your manifestation. After my master's, I always wanted to do something, but I was in a dilemma as I didn't see any option. So I, at that time, always asked for signs and other stuff, and I got them, but at that time I didn't know what to do as I was focused on the outside world. Then, after getting clear, I opted for the fellowship program for my PhD, which is the toughest. At that time, I was doing my other course at a university, where I always found myself dwelling on my current situation of doing the course and also the exam that I wanted to appear for. Although I persevere with caution, I do not have much time to devote to the exam but rather to the writing phase of my course. At that time, as I did not give any attention to the outside world, I did not have any fear or issues related to failure. And the main thing is that the things that are on your mind are coming to pass. Persistence is the key. I wanted to be a research fellow, but in my mind, I repeatedly record for a lectureship fellow, which I don't know how to clear out, thus getting the exact result. I gave the exam in December 2018 and then got the result in April 2019. But the result I got is exactly the same as I thought, irrespective of how many times I have done the work or hard work to be a PhD student. Then, after one month, I could not find any position and was also not eager to join as a lecturer. I started by saying I got my fellowship. That's all. That's the game changer. I just repetitively say it in my daily routine and whenever I feel conscious. I also have a chance of giving the exam in June 2019. But something is there that is stopping me from filling out the form. I don't felt motivated anymore to fill out the form. Thus, I let it go. Lo and behold, in September, I got a message on my phone about the fellowship from the Central Committee. I didn't have any option but to let it go. I mean, I didn't have any knowledge about it. After 15 days, I got the message again, and I tried to open it. Then I saw my name in the list, and Yohoo, I got the fellowship award letter. But I am still confused about what it was and what it means. I asked each and every person if they had ever seen this kind of message. So I was speculative and then let it go. The session for PhD starts in October, and the students can apply for it. So, I send an email to the respective institute asking about my ability to fulfill the deeds and needs, and in return they said yes. That's the beauty of persistence. Although it took some time, I persisted in my own way. I had a mental breakdown, but I'm still standing there, just believing that whatever I wanted or desired to be, I got it. I have not done any visualization. I just continued with my mental diet. I stop reacting to the environment as I know it is all mirrored images. Also, consistency is key. In the next message, I will share how I got into my dream institute. Thank you. So, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Happy manifesting.